This is the English Literature Web YouTube channel and I am Professor Elvi Gaikwad who is teaching here the last part of Antonio's character. This is part third and video number 48. We should call Basenio a happy lover. Basenio behaves with Antonio honestly. He is reservedly and then reluctantly. Remember here, Basenio is the particular friend of Antonio, but the point is here that he behaves with Antonio honestly, but rather reservedly and reluctantly because he is not uh, fresh or he is not happy or delighted in the love of Antonio. As Antonio is a man of few words because it is the complaint of Basenio that Antonio does not speak more and that's why Basenio is also reluctant or reserved but he is honest with Antonio. But Basenio likes Graciano, Salerio, Solanio because they are the persons who speak more with him because they are like him and they are talkative like him. Because they are talkative as Basenio is. Being a happy lover, he is happy and hopeful towards life. Because he has the habits like fine behaving, good thinking, being humorous, and witty and here uh, this uh, Antonio uh, falls rather opposition to this gentleman Basadio because Antonio is serious minded and a man of a few words. Therefore only Portia falls in love with Basadio before happening of the casket story. Remember this uh, Portia has fallen in love with Basenio because of his fine behaving and good thinking and humorous and witty nature because this Portia is also like that by nature. Basenio has also impressed Nerissa because this Nerissa has been also impressed by this Basenio. Therefore, Nerissa uh, expects luck in his casket story and that's why when this Basenio goes to select the right casket, this Nerissa also prays to God that Basenio should uh, select the right casket because she also uh, likes this Basenio. Finally, with logic, uh, he selects the right casket and wins Portia. Remember, uh, Basenio is the logical minded person, reasonable uh, minded person and that's why finally he selects the right casket and he wins Portia's hand. We can call him the rough and tough that is powerful personality here. He is not a shallow man. He thinks everything detailed and deeply. Remember, uh, we cannot say that this Basenio is the hasty person or he is the shallow person. He is the rational person, he thinks detail and deeply. So we add the adjectives to the character of Basenio like reasonable, a policy person and a witty person. At first, he tries to earn Portia's estate by marrying her, but being emotional minded, he goes to be an honest lover to Portia. Remember, uh, it is very true that every person in the beginning cannot be emotional because uh, those persons cannot remember each other. So Purusha when was new to him, he wants that he will get the estate of Purusha. But when he was connected with Purusha, he got the real corners of uh, her uh, life or he understood the good qualities of Purusha. And then he became the true uh, lover of Portia and he won Portia uh, with the selection of the right casket. Studying his behavior, his thoughts, we cannot predict that he is a man of greed. And so definitely we cannot say 
that this Bhasanyo is a greedy person or a selfish person. He knows what shines is not good. This Bhasanyo uh, has a guarantee that the thing which shines is not the gold because the gold shines but it, it, it is not the real life according to his philosophy and that's why he has not selected the gold but he has selected the lead that is the common casket. Men are good by outside but internally they are bad people. So this happens always with people that people show very goodness outwardly but inwardly they are very bad person and these type of qualities are not available in the character of Basenio. Basenio never likes the women making themselves artificially beautiful. Remember if some ladies are there and they are making artificially beautiful or they are looking artificially beautiful such type of women are not chosen or are not liked by this Basenio. He criticizes that women should have the importance of life because it is his philosophy that woman is created for a good life. She is not only for the beauty or the makeup. Basenio is called a sincere friend of Antonio and perhaps he is a friend to all. Remember here we can say that this Basenio is the honest friend of Antonio but I will definitely say that in the play he has been the friend to all. He is faithful, gentle and considering a character and friend to Antonio. He loves Antonio very much though uh, he is re reluctant or though he is serious with him but he loves very much Antonio. He becomes very unhappy for Antonio's sorrows when this Shylock makes the bond with Antonio of the bond of flesh. This Basenio is very much unhappy and with the help of Portia, he saves this Antonio from the clutch of Shylock. Basenio tries to leave Antonio from the clutch of Shylock. He is ready to play Shylock's money as per Shylock's mind. Remember here the main point is that uh, he is ready to uh, play or to pay. Shylock's money as per Shylock's mind uh, means Basenio is very much a, a reasonable character, very much a witty character and he has decided that if Shylock has made such a silly bond with Antonio then again he will pay his money as per the mind of Shylock and then I will say that this Basenio has been successful with the help of this Portia and they have defeated this Shylock and they have not written the money of Shiloh but they have changed his character and they have converted him uh, into the Christianity. Portia's property has been Basenio's possession. Remember uh, this Portia has been his wife or uh, she has been his beloved and she loves him with her true heart and that's why all the estate of Portia is Basenio's but he does not take the wrong benefit of it but he can save all life of Antonio with the help of this Portia's estate. That is the true thing on the part of Basenio and we can say that this Basenio is the real friend of Antonio. He promises the judge to give 3000 ducats to leave Antonio from the clutch of Shiloh. Basenio thus becomes a lover man. Lover man means he is the lover or the loving person due to his love to Portia, Antonio and the friendship with all persons who come into his contact. He is the real uh, friend to all. Uh, I will say he is the hero in the eyes of Antonio and uh, really he is the person of the benevolent nature uh, for all the persons who are uh, there uh, with his contact. So here today we have finished Shakespeare's Bicennial part 3 and video number 48. Again we will come in front of each other with a new topic. Till then thank you. Thank you very much.